Hello learners of class 10, welcome to the wonderful world of English language classroom. Learners, today we are doing a poem from your English language textbook, the first flight, first lesson, a tiger in the zoo. Learners, with me is Kriti, we will enjoy, appreciate the poem, it is slightly serious, slightly funny and it also has some direct connection implications with us as humans who long for freedom always. So, Kriti, yes. uh, let me ask you something. How does it feel if you find a tiger just roaming around in your neighborhood? So, I would be really scared and oh. I would be frightened what a tiger could do to us humans. Okay. Have you seen a tiger at all? In reality, I have seen it in a zoo. Zoo. Yes. But what do you feel when you feel when you see a tiger in a cage? Uh, I feel that something which is very powerful has been caged. Although I still feel frightened, hmm. what all he can do, uh, you know, even being inside the cage. Okay. This animal, tiger or any animal, wild animal, uh, uh, they are supposed to be in the wild. In the wild. Uh, in the in the, in the, but we have confined them. Yes. So, learners, let us see a poem which gives the dual life of a tiger which is now in cage and the tiger now thinks of or the point for the tiger thinks of oh, how he would be if he is in the wild. Okay. Come on. Before we get into the poem, uh, let us introduce the objectives of this lesson for you. Come on, Kriti, read out the yes. objectives sure, sir. to our learners. At the end of this lesson, learners will be able to read the poem A Tiger in the Zoo with understanding and appreciate the idea of the poem. Understand literary devices such as metaphor, imagery, symbol, simile, rhyme scheme, etc. Interpret the ideas and language of the poem to connect with real life experience. Move beyond the poem to extrapolate ideas with the contemporary world. Fine learners, Kriti, thank you. We have set four objectives uh, to which we will realize through this poem. Okay? Yes, sir. We have seen, we are saying that tiger in the zoo. So, let us look at what the point says about the tiger in the zoo or in the wild, right. that is jungles. Okay. I am going to uh, read the poem out to you, just listen to it, need not bother about the meaning of individual words, just listen to it. Okay. Okay. He stalks in his vivid stripes a few steps of his cage on pads of velvet quiet in his quiet rage. He should be lurking in shadow, sliding through long grass near the water hole where plum deer pass. He should be snarling around houses at the jungle's edge, baring his white fangs, his claws terrorizing the village. But he is locked in a concrete cell, his strength behind bars, stalking the length of his cage, ignoring visitors. He hears the lost voice at night, the patrolling cars, and stares with his brilliant eyes at the brilliant stars. Leslie Norris. Kriti? Yes, sir. What do you get out of this uh, reading? Sir, I assume uh, that the poet is making a kind of a um, comparison between how a tiger uh, behaves or lives in a zoo and how he lives or behaves in a in the wild, in the forest, in the jungle. Fine. All right. Kriti, uh, learners, I will read out stanza after stanza explaining whether the tiger is in the zoo or in the jungle. What you will have to do is, in the left side, you write what does it do in the zoo okay, and sir. what it should be doing in the jungle. Okay. Come on. The first stanza. He stalks in his vivid stripes, a few steps of his cage, 
on parts of velvet quiet in his quiet rage. What does he do? Where is he now? He is in the zoo. Okay, what does he do? Uh, he is in the cage. Mm. Fine. Then? Also, he is, he, the grass is not real there. Hmm. So, they are saying on pads of velvet quiet. Okay, velvet quiet. But, uh, uh, before that, what does he do? He is taking few steps in his cage. <laughs> what, he, he, what, he, what does the word the poet use? The few steps of his cage, hmm. he stalks in his vivid Okay, cards. stalks, walks, then, then few steps. Yeah, uh, please write few steps. Okay. Then stalks. Yes. Then velvet quiet. Yes. Then what about the last last line? In his quiet. Quiet rage. Oh, oh. Yes. So is he rage? Is he in rage or quiet? Uh, this is this denotes to a certain uh, literary device, mm. uh, where although he has a lot of rage in him, mm -hmm. but still he is quiet. quiet. Okay. So, let us write the uh, uh, phrase quiet rage. Okay. Okay. Now, let me read out this second stanza. You will have to say where does the tiger now live, stay and what does he do? Okay. okay. He should be lurking in shadow, sliding through long grass near the water hole where plum deer pass. The tiger is in the wild now. Okay. So, in jungles. In jungles. Right, yes. right. Please write. So, he is in the forest or wild or jungle. Hmm. What does it do? Sliding through long grass. Yes. So, walking? Walking through the? Walking hmm. through the long grass. Hmm. Then? The forest. And hiding to watch whom? The deer. Yes. Is okay. Will be the prey. Okay. Waiting for the? Tiger. Waiting for the? Waiting to attack hmm. the prey. Okay, fine. Now, now the third sense learners find out where does he where, he, where he is now, then what he does. He should be snarling around houses at the jungle's edge, baring his white fangs, his claws, terrorizing the village. Come on. Now, what does he do? He is again in the Jungle, wild, jungle. yeah. And now he is, maybe there is a little village near the jungle, the wild. So, he is snarling around the houses. Okay. He can say. Moving around the moving houses. around the houses. And what does and he do to the villages? He is trying to scare them okay. by his long. By the, his the word, the word is terrorizing. Terrorizing the village. Fine. Yes. Okay. Learners, uh, good, 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 well done uh, learners. Uh, thank you. Now. Look at the th third or fourth stanza. Yeah. He is locked in the concrete cell, his strength began boss, stalking the length of his cage, ignoring visitors. So, what does he do here? He is in the zoo definitely. Mm. Uh, he is locked mm. in a concrete cell. Concrete cell everywhere. Yes. Then? Then he is behind the bars. Fine. Of his cage. And then he is stalking the length of his cage because there is no, uh, there is not a lot of space to move around in the cage. So he's just stalking in his cage. And, and then lastly, he's ignoring. He, he doesn't want to see humans. Yes. Okay. Come on. The last stanza. He hears the lost voice at night, the patrolling cars, and stares with his brilliant eyes at the brilliant stars. Yes, sir. Where is he now? He is in the wild now. Fine. Uh, he can hear the last voice uh, as we are, as the poet has uh, written in the poem. The patrolling cars. He might be in the wild where a lot of patrolling cars come to see that everything is in place. The forest, forest yes, people. Forest people are safe. Hmm. And uh, and lastly, before sleeping, he is looking at the brilliant. Uh, he is looking at the stars with his brilliant eyes. Oh, so, that means he is in the open. In the open. He okay. In the jungle. Yes. Fine. All right, learners. This is what the poet is describing in some stanzas. Why uh, the tiger is in the zoo. zoo. Concretized walls. Yes. Uh, caged. And in the other one, he is in the wild. Yes. So, learners, do you ever feel that you are caged? 
uh, given recent times mm. uh, the covid corona virus scenario there was a lockdown which was put we caged so we were in a position that uh, where we felt that we were caged fine learners this is what's happening uh, an animal which is supposed to be in the wild yes. free is caged and but he is thinking of what he should be doing if he if he were in the wild now i'm going to ask you two questions you'll have to give as many points as possible uh, what does the tiger do in the zoo now he stalks in his vivid stripes mm. he uh, he's in his quiet rage okay then he's locked in a concrete cell okay uh, his strength are somewhat behind bars okay and he's stalking the length of his cage it's not very long yeah. but still he's trying to yes. do his safari like yes. the majestic walk yes. okay and he's ignoring the visitors who has come to see the tiger so he doesn't want to see humans yes okay that's what and what does he do if he were in the wild i'm i'm using appropriately if he were in the wild he is not yes. okay and maybe he would never ever go to the wild the jungles okay what does he do what he let me change it uh, reframe it what would he do if he were in the jung jungles uh as compared to what he was doing in the cage he would be uh, freely roaming around in the wild fine and uh, he would uh, as in the poem says that he would be sliding through the long grasses to catch the prey a plump deer yeah yeah and uh, he would also be uh, looking at the stars at night with his brilliant eyes okay free completely free, free completely free. okay come on let me ask learners and as well as you as children we are made to sit in the classroom of course this pandemic time that the, this problem there are no schools but uh, we are also confined <laughs> at home then when someone puts so much control on you how would you feel so your freedom is lost imagine an animal which is supposed to be in the jungles only is caged yes. now this takes us to the question whether we should have zoos or not that we'll come to uh, discuss later so there are two things now learners look at the poem again as it appears kriti is going to supply the rhyme scheme tell us the rhyme scheme by supplying what is the device to you uh, understand the rhyme scheme of the poem uh, we usually use uh, a b a b uh, and a b for the last word of each line, each line the sound of, of the last yes. word of each line yes. so, so i'm going to read out to you the first stanza then you supply the uh, rhyme scheme then the rest you will be doing it okay okay, sir. okay let me let me read out the first stanza uh, then you will be doing it hmm? okay here it is the first stanza he stalks in his vivid stripes a few steps of his cage on pads of velvet quiet in his quiet rage so okay. sir as we see the sound stripes can be denoted with a okay a the sound of cage can be denoted b quiet can be deno denoted as c and then we see that the sound of rage is somewhat uh, repeating and it's rhyming with the word cage hmm. which we denoted as it, it it rhymes with the word cage, cage. so you're going we to we will denote the word rage as b so this okay. would be hmm. a b c b okay a b c b, b. yes okay look at the last uh, words of the first stanza learners stripes cage quiet rage stripe a cage b quiet c and rage b, b again. again so yes. this is how a uh, 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 rhyme scheme of the poem is identified now you will have to supply rhyme scheme to other stanzas come on do it sure sir mm -hmm. so in the next stanza we see shadow is a new word so we'll again uh, denote a, a. Uh, then grass b water hole c dear pass b again uh, pass is uh, uh, rhyming, rhyming with, gra with grass okay so next a b c b again okay same way in the third stanza around houses a edge b claws c village 
Now we see that vi uh, village is rhyming again with edge. So it would be B, B. again. Okay. So it, the rhyming scheme would be A, B, C, B. So, so the same way the entire poem is A, B, C, B. C, B. Learners, the rest of the stanza you do it on your own and we need to understand rhyme scheme of your poem. Yes. Because the poet when you read, you can read with some melody, some music. This is how. Let me ask you a provocative question, which is there all over the world. Uh, are zoos necessary in today's world? I am asking you with one understanding. Now, lot of things are shot in the wild. And sh we can watch it on television, news items, channels, many, many things and videos. And why should we need a zoo? But there are zoos everywhere. If you will find any a city all over the world, there is a zoo and wild animals are kept there. Yeah, fine. So, do you feel that zoos are necessary? Sir, I do not think so they are necessary because uh, the amount of television we are seeing and everything is telecasted uh, on television these days like a safari or animals are shown. But to some extent, we can also say that they are necessary. Why? Why? It is. It becomes a place where endangered species are okay. kept. Great, great. And to keep them uh, protected. Okay. Uh, endangered species can be yes. kept in the zoo and protected. Learners, before we close, uh, Kriti is going to tell us how to read a poem. When you read a story or novel or a newspaper item, news item, we read for mere information or enjoyment. Of course, the short stories, but. We should read poetry differently. Here it is, Kriti. Come on. Sure, sir. All poetry requires patience. Be patient with the text. Read carefully for nuance and inference. Know what the words mean. Look up words that are unfamiliar. Look up words that are familiar but you cannot specify. Pay attention to words or phrases that resonate with other things you know and try to identify the connection. Be patient and read slowly and you will be amply rewarded. Fine. Okay, there are some unfamiliar words, there are some familiar words. Connect with them and understand the point.